Today I want to show you guys the ultrasonic extraction and purification system that we've got for sale. This is vacuum operated, so it uses vacuum to draw the solvent through the material. Um, this is our suction line that just drops into a 55 gallon drum for your solvent. Um, from there, we get to our 10 pound ultrasonic columns. We've got two of those that are run in a series. And then we have a six stage purification system over here. And these are much more efficient and less expensive than the lenticular type. And so you've got, typically you would run three carbon filters in the center and they can be rotated so you're not wasting uh, your filter and having to replace it before it's actually fully uh, used up. And then we've got all the way down to a 0.22 micron uh, polishing filter there on the tank. And we have a 100 gallons, an 80 gallon working capacity uh, vacuum storage tank uh, with a drain right here on the bottom. And then we've got, so the, one of the cool things about this is the pneumatic operated lift. And so we've got an air powered lift here. You can see here's the uh, up and down switch. All the lines, vacuum lines, ultrasonic lines, uh, and uh, air lines we run overhead uh, to keep them away from the hazardous area. So that, those are the basic components and then I'll um, show you guys the vacuum pump. So here we have our vacuum pump and it's mounted on a cart. We've got a 50 foot uh, cord uh, going to the switch. We've got our air compressor, little air compressor here that operates the pneumatic uh, lift that the extractor columns are mounted on to raise up and down. Um, this is a Becker um, vacuum pump. And we've got our filter uh, check valve right here to keep any backflow when you shut the system off. We've got a safety ball float. Um, we've got our exhaust that runs to the exterior of the building um, and that runs overhead. And over here we've got our vacuum line. Um, we've got the vacuum line loops around. So here's the vacuum line that runs overhead over to the extractor system. We've also got our air to operate the lift, which runs over to the extraction system. And then we've got our two um, transducer uh, lines right here that operates the transducers. These connect into the generator uh, for those. And then uh, let's see, just simple plug. These are 240, three phase is what operates the vacuum pump. The last thing I want to look at is the ultrasonic generator. This does not come, is not sold with the system. So this is something that you'll have to buy separately. Um, I would recommend the Ultrasonic Power Corporation. And this is model 5300. And this is a 1000 watt. So each column, that's why we've got two wires. Uh, we'll take a look at the back of this thing um, and, I'll, and I'll show it to you. But each column is 500 watts and they're run separately. So let's take a look at the back of the, the uh, generator real quick. So this is the back of the generator and you can see each line is 500 watts and then we've got 500 watts worth of uh, transducers in each column. Um, here is the tag if you want to buy the um, exact uh, thing to, to operate the system. It works really well and these guys uh, provide pretty good customer service. We've um, had really good experiences with this company. So now that we've run through the components, um, I'll do a quick little demo. We'll, we'll get some material in there and we'll run some alcohol through it. So 
So we got our material in here. We got our vacuum pump started. So we're gonna continue building vacuum while we get our alcohol ready. So before we wrap it up, um, I'll show you the lift real quick and how to unload these guys. And then we'll drain the tank and take a look at the purity of what we got. So over here we have our up and down switch. This thing will get up high enough that you can get a uh, 55 gallon garbage can or, or drum or whatever, even if you use a super sack, you can drop these guys into a super sack. And you can adjust the speed if you want it to go faster. We've got a knob right here that uh, adjust the air and you can adjust the speed on it there and to unload you can see on the bottom here these are hinged so we've got a hinge right here at the back and you've got your lever right here you just pop that open and the drop the the bottom uh, drops down so we can unload both of these pretty easy So we're going to open the valve here and see what we got. So that is at a dilution rate of roughly 30 gallons for 20 pounds of material. See what that looks like there. 